Just want to clarify a few things before we continue. Number one, when you are in a twirled state such as that, you cannot air recover. When you are in a bounded state like this, When your body bounces off the stage like this, you cannot air recover. When you are hit across the stage, you cannot air recover. Only if the move sends you flying back super fast, it's impossible. However, moves that send you flying across the stage that aren't fast, such as Kronos' screwdriver dashing kick attack, you can actually air recover out of it because the force of it isn't strong. That was with guarding air recover. That was with attack air recover. You can also air recover out of this move in particular on counter hit. You cannot air recover out of Kronos' dashing punch attack though. However, to get out of everything, including that punch that was shown off in the beginning of this video, all you do is hyper beast. You can get out of everything simply by Hyper Beasting. Now let's continue. Hey everybody, it's Jerry here and today I'm going to be talking about Bloody Roars, Air Recovery, Air Evade, uh, damage scaling reset after being juggled because I feel like I could have explained it in a past video which was the dash cancel video in particular so without further ado let's talk about air recovery air recovery is when you're launched in the air and you press G to air recover in place however there's not just air recovering in place as you can also do it in different directions now how I'm air recovering right now is just by pressing guard alone so you'll just fall down However, there's other ways to do it. Um, you can do it in any other direction, up, down, left, or right. Let's start from the left, meaning, you know, us going back, where our back's facing. So, we just went back when we air recovered. That's left in G. Now we're going to go behind him, or rather, we're just going to go forward in air recover. Now we're behind him. And you can also go into the Z axis by pressing down in G or up in G. So, that's how you do that. However, the reason why I recorded long doing... Um, there's a reason why I recorded long doing more moves after the launcher. And it's because um, you can air evade. In the past video, I called it air recovering as you're falling down. But air recovery is when you get the green circle the moment you're launched. Or the moment you're in the air. Air evading is not the same thing, to be exact. That right there, what I just did that you probably saw for a second was an air evade. If you press down or up as your opponent's still throwing moves after they launch you in the air, you can go around them and potentially end up behind them or you'll probably be locking their, uh, not locking, blocking their strings as they're still throwing moves out. It really depends. But after you air recover, you can go around them by pressing up in G or down in G. However, there's another thing that I feel like is important to mention. Another good example of air evading is when someone's coming at you with a dashing punch, kick, or beast attack. And to do it, you basically jump in the air and press down G or up G. It's something that I implement in my playstyle personally because I just think it looks cool. And it's pretty good for neutral. Um, right there, you saw me avoid his dashing homing attack. And that's because I jumped in the air and I pressed down in G. Now we're going to do it by pressing up in G. So you see that it will give you the same results and creates a good distance between you and your opponent. So just understand that there's normally evading and there's air evading. Now let's talk about the second type of air recovery. The key difference between this air recovery and the one that we discussed prior is that this one does not have any directional input, meaning that you can't go to the left, right, up or down and it comes out slightly faster. This, that right there is air recovering in a direction. This is air recovering by pressing punch or kick. It comes out slightly faster, so slight that you might not even notice the difference, but that's the second type of air recovery in this game. 
with punch or kick. So if you ever cover off instinct by pressing an attack button, I wonder if beast works actually. Beast does work. Okay. Wasn't sure. But yeah, now we know. Anyway, yeah. So this right here is air recovering in any other direction normally when you're pressing G. But if you press punch or kick to air recover, you can't go in any other direction. You're going to get locked. So just keep that in mind. Now we can move on to the damage scaling resetting after someone's juggled after they air recovered. But I'm going to switch characters for that. While air recovery may be a good way to defend yourself and prevent yourself from dying, it is also a way for your opponent's attacks to get the damage scaling reset when you're being juggled. Right now I have Xion's air recovery off, and the reason why I have it off is to show off this setup. Now that did 87 damage and half his health bar. Now it's going to do more when air recovery is on because there are certain moves that can catch you in between air recovery. Basically setups that are guaranteed that will reset the damage on the opponent's parts moves because the game's interpreting it as the opponent doing the move at them raw. Meaning that they've never been hit until that point in the game. Now we're going to turn this air recovery on all. However, right there, you see how he just air recovered in between that? Now, my damage scaling is going to get reset, meaning that the game's interpreting this move that I'm doing, this two hit to this back kick I'm about to do, as something new and raw that I'm just doing in the match, even though it's a part of a setup. And because the opponent air recovered, it's going to do more than what you saw earlier with half the life bar being gone. Right there, he air recovered again. It was vi I, I I couldn't pause it in time, but you could see him air recover. Now almost all his health bar is gone, and all of that is is because he air recovered. If you don't air recover, then you'll basically still eat a lot of damage, but you won't eat that much, especially if certain moves link together in between the air recover, and you won't get caught. So yeah, I think that was probably the best way I could describe all of this in the video because I felt like I really could have done it a lot better. Honestly, I'm not even confident that I did it that justice in this, but nobody else is going to explain it in a video format. So, you know, I'm kind of glad I did this. It was very annoying trying to talk about all of this because Bloody Roar doesn't explain anything and I'm trying to explain everything as best I can. But anyways, thank you all for watching this guy video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll catch you guys in the next video whenever, if ever. Peace.